Hi, I'm Allison, one of the memory experts at Crucial. If your decision to upgrade to a solid state drive is a little intimidating, let me show you how easy a typical installation can be. However, before we get started, there's a couple things we need to verify first. If your PC only came with a system restore disk, you will need to clone your old drive contents to your new SSD with Crucial's data transfer kit before you install it into your computer. If you ordered your SSD without the data transfer kit, it is available. If you have a complete Windows installation disk, you need to install your new SSD into your computer and then load Windows in your other programs. If you choose to install a fresh copy of Windows, be sure that all of your documents, pictures, music, and preferences are backed up. Once you're ready to install the SSD into your computer, you'll need the following items. Your new Crucial Real SSD, your notebook computer and user manual, and a screwdriver. Make sure your computer is powered off. Remove the power cable if necessary. Flip your notebook over on a stable surface. Remove the notebook battery. Locate the hard drive panel on the bottom of your notebook. You may want to refer to your user manual to do this. Remove the screws and take off the panel. If you see a tab on the existing hard drive, gently pull it up and then to the outside to remove the hard drive from the bay. If you see a proprietary connector or spacer bracket attached to your existing hard drive, remove it and set it aside. Now that you've removed the hard drive, it's time to install the new SSD. Remove the SSD from its packaging and attach the connector or spacer bracket you removed from the hard drive. This will help the SSD fit securely in the drive bay. Align the SATA connector pins on the SSD with the SATA connector in the drive bay and slide the SSD firmly against the SATA connectors in the drive bay. Make sure there is no space where the SATA connection and the SSD align. Reattach the hard drive panel and screws. Then reinstall the battery, reattach the power cables, and turn your notebook power on. Finally, if you're using your SSD as your primary storage drive, load your operating system. For specific details, refer to your operating system's user manual. For more information, visit crucial.com.